New Orleans is known for a lot of things, including their alligators. <laughs> We are getting Gio's COVID test for him to travel tomorrow. That time of the week. It's that time of the week. The boy is leaving me. And I'm very sad about it because now I won't have Wayne and I won't have Gio. Mm -hmm. What do I do? Anyway, we're going to do this thing now and then we'll get going. I believe I should have some footage from Wayne by now too to include. Apparently, there were alligators and a swamp. Hear him to me. Last night, I called me here now. You know, some could have just dead. If I just drop out, I'm dead. You <laughs> <laughs> fool, fool, you friend. <laughs> All right. See you, nephew. At the Smoothie King Arena now, the home of the New Orleans Pelicans, where we're going to watch the games tomorrow night and Sunday night. So, we're going to have a special VIP tour of the stadium now that nobody will be there, just us. So, it's a vibe. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys, so on the floor right now, the court of the Smoothie King Arena, special VIP tour. Tell us it would have been nice, man. The stadium is huge. I'm not even sure how many people this see, but it's huge. Just like you see on TV, that's how it looks in real life. Nice. We're actually in the changing room right now, where the players get ready, where the coach gives final briefing and stuff. So we're in the Pelicans changing room. Exclusive access. Big up sports max. It's a good look. All right, watch this, people. Watch this. Look at my shoes. My shoes, player shoes. <laughs> hey, that the normal that like about a size nineteen people. Mm -mm. <laughs> so while we wait and we're taking pictures, Mr. Wayne Marshall. Yeah. So Mr. Marshall, how does it feel to be the head coach of the New Orleans Pelicans? <laughs> well, it feels good. You know, we have a good group of guys. Yeah. You know, um, I believe in them, they believe in me, you know, when I call the plays, they execute well. We're looking to have good results this weekend for, over the Spurs and over the Lakers, you know. And I want to thank the fans as well, you know, we can't do it without the home fans. Yes, sir. Very good. Yeah, so that's about it, you know, we just want to get on the court, we're very excited. <laughs> yeah, guys, so I'm here. In New Orleans for the Sports Max NBA All Access 2022. And I'm actually on the swamp right now, and we're about to go and do a tour and look if we can see some alligator out there. I don't know if it's too late to turn back now. I think I'm in over my head. 
New Orleans is known for a lot of things, including their alligators and their swamps and stuff. They even eat alligator out here. Yesterday I was at a restaurant and they had alligator on the menu. Here the waiter to me now. Hey, you want me to go get some and you try it? I said, no sir. I said, no sir, it's all good. I will take a rain check on that. So my question to you guys is, are you guys adventurous enough? Because I have my limits to my adventure and my experiment then, what me would do. Would you try alligator? Would you try that stew, dung, fry, all kind of thing? They, they, believe me people, them into it out here. Would you try it as a tourist in New Orleans? <laughs> Not I! Um, it is going to be probably like half cruising at a higher speed and then half where we're going to slow down, do some idling, looking for gators, trying to spot wildlife and stuff, and then stopping and talking as well. Um, so it'll be a, a little mixture. As we cruise it out, you might want to pay attention up in front of the boat towards the banks. There might be some alligators sunbathing with the sun out like this. Um, our first so tour, we were able to see plenty of alligators. Um, so, you never know though. It is a wild swamp. We don't control them. We don't have them tied up. We're going to see what happens. Y'all just kind of sit back and enjoy the tour, guys. Watch these guys, guys. Don't put your feet on the sides. They will come up. He is okay. They will come up on the boat. Olha, olha, olha. They get aggressive. What is that? Oh, so be careful. Yo. Man, look at the tamanho daquele. We'll be an alligator and not a crocodile. All right, guys. We don't have no crocodiles that live here in southeastern United States, okay. except for the state of Florida, down by the Everglades. Yo, that one is too. Whoa. Yo, that whoa. one is too big. Yo. Whoa. Whoa. Stay, stay calm. Stay calm. Yo. Stay calm. Oh my God. Stay calm. Bro, the olho. I want to get in over my head. Stay calm. Oh. I have nothing for you in a family. I have nothing for you. Go around this. Go around this. I have nothing. What's that big old one here? Yeah? <laughs> biggest know. difference, guys? Y'all know the difference? What's the biggest difference between an alligator and a crocodile? Watch out. Do you see? Huh? You know? It's too close to the jacaré. Yes, so their snout uh, on an alligator is much shorter and wider, where a crocodile is a lot longer and narrower. Oh. But the biggest difference between the two is going to be aggressiveness. Mm. Crocodiles are typically very aggressive. A crocodile will try to tear up a water, <laughs> rip a, a buffalo in pieces and eat it. Alligators are normally very docile. They really lay back. They're typically more scared of you than what you are. These are alligators? These are alligators. Alligators will typically only eat something that they can swallow whole in attention to the gators. And he's standing on the edge of the boat like this and he's got his hands. He had a jump up, grabs his hand. Didn't yank him into the water, but done some damage. Done some damage on his hand. He definitely had to go to the hospital and uh, get taken care of. Typically, they won't they won't stitch you uh, because of the bacteria in the jaws of an alligator is so bad that they need that to come out. So they just clean it really well, and you got to go back several times for cleaning, and they just wrap it, clean oh, wow. it, wrap it, clean it, wrap it without stitching you, it, unless they have to stitch you. Ja, ja. For, just of the back. Whoa. <laughs> that's Vance. Caralho, ele é muito grande. Yeah, that's Vance, people. That's Vance. Oh my God. Maraca, galera. Olha o tamanho da cabeça do bicho, mano. Careful, careful. Pelo amor de Deus, mano. Come on. Driver, you need to stay safe, you know. Come on, man. No, sir. I feel like Steve Irwin. He's like, you're playing with my emotions. Yo! Very powerful jaws, guys. Oh, damn. Oh, damn. 
2,500 pounds per square inch. Whoa! Damn! Guys, <laughs> that was an experience. You see why I was trying new things? Typically, I would have never do something like that. Swam tour up close and personal with, with um, alligators. That's not my something. Sports Max and NBA draw me right out and trust me, I'm grateful. It was an experience that I will never forget that, you know? Trust me, it's a good look. <laughs> love that vibes there, love that vibes there. So we're at the Smoothie King Arena. Maybe you guys can see that, maybe you guys can't, but it's a big arena and we're here for the main event, which is the Pelicans versus the Spurs. You know, we travel a long way from Kingston and we're here we came here for this so we're looking forward to going inside we're going to get access to the pre-game warm-up and all of the, the, the players them shooting off and, and whatever you know it you know it, you know the trail so I'm about to head inside and now Experience, you know, say to all the vibes, and we're going there. And the serious and night when we come out, you know, still daytime people, but the experience was so uh, exhilarating and exciting. It just feel like say an hour's pass, yeah. But that was a wonderful experience. I really enjoyed that first time at the NBA game, you know, it was all that I expected and more. The food was wicked, the cheese, um, I never know, somebody that come yes, I come get the best food. Um, since I've been in New Orleans, but yeah, the, the food in the um, in the VIP lounge was mad, real New Orleans style to proper cooked food. Yeah. Good morning. It is the day that Gio has to leave us. It's five thirty in the morning, five forty, and it's time for us to go. This is my sad face. Boozy, kiss Jiggy, tell him goodbye. Gio going on the plane, Ozzy? You don't understand, you know. Isn't that you see? Say bye, Boozy. Because they stop a fire. You go out, they stop a fire. Is the boys out of sleep? Chow man. Go to the next time, okay, see ya. We're dropping off Gio. John came with me because he was like, can't be good driving up to the airport at time of morning. Pregnant lady. Gio had a good time? Excellent time. It was a good trip. 
I don't think we've ever laughed this much. No, you know, I don't talk this much. We talk things, you know. <laughs> With the things, you know. Anything that you say on yeah. the vlog, yes. people just agree. They just agree. Because there is no way this was a time that you laughed as much. But just, no. yeah, just being agreeable. No. Yeah, you know, this time. Yeah, this time we laughed as much. It's true, you know. We Remember when they said last time? Yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> it was no, good. It was no, good. No, I have to beep him. I hate him. <laughs> <laughs> no, Gio and yeah, I had a good. This, no. was, this was our it trip. It might be. No. It was our trip. <laughs> we laugh, we talk, <laughs> we reason, we feel sick. All kind of thing Richard is true. It was a good trip. Good daddy trip. daddy missed out, but I'm glad he left because if he didn't leave, we wouldn't have gotten this time. So, we It was a good spring break. It was. It was. I just wanted to say an update for the MTM fam because they will definitely be wishing you well. Thank you guys. Bye. Look who came to say good morning. I know. You miss us. Come, let's get food. Come. Well, guys, Jira is back home safe and sound. And I am having a very lazy day with my boys. We are about to watch a movie together because I can't watch a more Marvel. Marvel is a new go to crazy in the house. So, yeah, I just went to open up the house because um, some tiling work is going on today. And yeah, that's it. Taking it easy. Real Sunday morning vibes. By the way, happy Mother's Day to all of my British moms. All the moms who are in the UK. Um, especially to my mom and of course my sister Terry. Happy Mother's Day, even though you see this the day after, still. Big up to all of the UK mommies. The mom is living in the UK. Um, we love you plenty. And on that note, Nana sent me this totally inappropriate video. Enjoy. Well, boy, my MTM family, Nana is in the massage chair. I am feeling massage where I've never felt it before. <laughs> Yes, I'm having the time of my life. It's my grandson's birthday. <laughs> and I'm at the center where he's having his party. I'm a big son put me in this chair. On yeah. To get massaged. Those of you who know me well, know I don't do well with this sort of thing. Oh my god. <laughs> no sir! This grip you in areas you never been gripped before. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> Leave my legs alone. This is like in, in a washing machine. I test Tommy, you better post this to the MTM family. If them don't post, they're going to tell them that you didn't post it. Love you, my MTM family. See you soon. Eh? <laughs>